Obama was lying when he said that he would stay out of Trump's presidency and only speak up when he felt the need to. Obama is doing a lot more than speaking up, he is mobilizing an army. The New York Post confirms that Obama will be leading an anti-Trump organization 30,000 strong. Obama isn't just staying behind in Washington. He's working behind the scenes to set up what will effectively be a shadow government and not only protect his threatened legacy but to sabotage the incoming administration and its popular America First agenda. He's doing it through a network of leftist non-profits led by Organizing for Action. Normally you'd expect an organization set up to support a politician and his agenda to close up shop after that candidate leaves office, but not Obama's OFA. Rather, it's gearing up for battle with a growing war chest and more than 250 offices across the country. OFA has been behind nearly all of the big anti-Trump protests. The group is run by former Obama aides and campaign workers, but Obama personally leads the fight. Obama is intimately involved in OFA operations and even tweets from the group's account. In fact, he gave marching orders to OFA foot soldiers following Trump's upset victory. Federal tax records show nonpartisan OFA marshals 32,525 volunteers nationwide. The group is registered as a 501c4, meaning it doesn't have to disclose its donors, but they are more than well funded. OFA has raised more than $40 million in contributions and grants since evolving from Obama's campaign organization Obama for America in 2013. For a former president to scheme and mobilize an entire shadow government against a sitting president is unprecedented. Obama is using intel and connections he has accumulated as president over the last eight years to take down President Trump. This is pure treason. Liberty writers contributed to this report. Its news exposed signing off.